Hey Aquarius Moon people, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be um, a general reading for anyone who has their moon in Aquarius. If you do not have an Aquarius moon um, and you want to watch the reading for your moon sign, I do have a moon sign playlist. If you don't know your moon sign, there is going to be, um, wow that looks really good already, there is going to be... Um, are going to be instructions in the comment section on how to find your moon sign. So uh, I do have a playlist on that if you guys want to check it out. This is going to go over the next six months. So the title says July to December, but it's technically just now until December, okay? So uh, your overall energy, normally with all these good cards, you're going to see a bad card is the overall energy, a bad card. Um, the Ten of Wands, Saturn and Sagittarius. So um, I actually just feel like it's not necessarily a bad card. I feel like you guys are putting in a lot of work here. It's a card of following your inclinations. Um, but I also feel like you're very detail oriented here within the next six months. So there's something about uh, getting very caught up on all the small details, um, needing to see more of a bigger picture uh, within a situation here. So you start off with a hair font, Taurus energy. Let's go ahead and look at that. You could be a Taurus, Libra, Leo, Virgo, Gemini, we got Pisces here too. Got a lot of signs out here. Capricorn, let's go ahead and do it. Two of Cups. Ooh, I like this a lot for you guys. So your first card out here is the two, uh, or the hair font and the Two of Cups. Uh, so somebody could have Venus and Cancer here, but there is something that you're coming into alignment with that, uh, that is meant for you. Most of the time with the Two of Cups, it is a connection, um, a soulmate connection. And you have the hair font here as well, which is a card of marriage. Also just commitment in general. If marriage isn't something you want. This could just be a higher level of commitment. Um, or you're agreeing to something. For some of you guys, there's a contract here. Um, there's something you're agreeing to. So some kind of deal maybe. Let's get one more on that. The Justice card. Yeah, I feel like this could be marriage for some of you guys. It's something legal, okay? Something legally binding. I feel like you're going to be signing something here. Uh, there's a lot of work to get done. This could this could involve a home for some of you guys, actually, uh, with the Ten of Wands. This can represent putting in a lot of work, carrying a lot. Sometimes this can be a card of burdens, but I don't really feel like it's burdens as much as it is like responsibilities or just a lot of tasks to complete, okay? Um, yeah, there are a lot of things that are going to be fighting for your attention. And I do say things. This could be people, but it mostly feels like different things need your attention here within the next six months, okay? Some of you, I feel like this is a connection that could lead to marriage. Others of you, I feel like this is a home, okay? Uh, a lot to get done here. We have the Wheel of Fortune as well. Fixed Energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. What's going on with the Wheel of Fortune here for my Aquarius Moon people? You guys, if you're not feeling like any of this is uh, really resonating with you, you're more than welcome to stick around or skip around. I'm not really reading in a straight line, so you might find a message that is meant for you. We have the Seven of Swords, strategizing, okay? Moon and Aquarius. I feel like you're strategizing. Um, you're planning your next move very carefully is how that feels. Like I said, I feel like you guys are very focused on the details in a situation with that Ten of Wands energy. So um, I feel like there is a need to kind of see the bigger picture here. So uh, let's get one more on that. The Page of Wands. Yeah. Uh, because I feel like you are coming up with a strategy of some sort when it comes to your next move. Um, a lot of you guys, it does involve that move there, but I feel like you're too caught up on the small details instead of just moving, okay? Um, so there's a lot to do with that here where I feel like you're trying to get... Um, you're trying to get everything together before you make any moves. You're being too cautious is the vibe that I'm getting here. It's what I've been trying to spit out this whole time. So that page of wands says to take action and just move on whatever this new thing is uh, that's coming in for you. Some of you guys, it's a fire sign. Some of you are trying to uncover something about this fire sign here. Um, yeah, you feel like there's somebody here who's deceptive. I definitely don't feel that way. I feel like you're just dealing with somebody who's kind of just a private person is honestly how that feels to me. Um, so yeah, I feel like you're really reading too much into something there with that one. Um, so we have the Magician, Virgo, and Gemini energy showing up here as well. What's going on with that? These are some really good cards here, you guys. Put on the Magician, please. Yeah, that Seven of Swords, I'm not saying it's a bad idea to have a plan because this is definitely something that you want to be prepared for. Um, but I just feel like there's a lot of reading into it, just too much reading into it. You have the Tower here, um, Scorpio and Aries Energy. Yeah, I feel like in trying to make so many things happen at once here, I feel like there is potential for everything to kind of fall. With the uh, Tower here, what's that saying? Rome wasn't built in a day. We have the Strength card here. Be patient with yourself. Take things a little bit slower is what I feel like saying. Um, or take it one thing at a time. It's something like that here where you're trying to make something happen and you are just rush, rush, rushing it. So, uh, yeah, there's something about that here. Uh, we have the Four of Pentacles showing up next. Sun and Capricorn Energy. What's going on for Pentacles? A 
Ace of Wands, Fire, Aries, Sag, Leo. Yeah, I feel like there's something here when it comes to this move where I feel like subconsciously some of you guys, uh, you're, you're stalling, okay? So there's a lot that you want to get done, but I feel like it's really just fear. You're really just very comfortable where you are. It's familiar, okay? Uh, for some of you guys, there's a person here. There's a, uh, another person involved here with that Two of Cups energy to the Justice card, to the Hair Font. I feel like there, there could be something here where you are legally binded to something else, so you don't want to move on this new beginning. I feel like Page of Wands, I almost feel like you're afraid of upsetting people. Uh, the Magician might say that you want to make something happen, but the Strength card to the Tower card, you're holding yourself back because you, you fear some kind of chaos. You feel some kind of, or fear some kind of like eruption uh, on somebody else's part is how that feels to me. This could be a Leo or a Taurus or a Libra for some. But I do, I feel like you need to take action on this. I feel like wherever this is that you're going or whatever this is that you're doing, uh, the sun card, I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. You have the sun card showing up twice. But I also just feel like this is something, oh yeah, a lot of abundance, okay, major success. Some of you, this is a job that you're leaving here, an institution with that uh, hair font. Some of you could be teachers, but I feel like this is going to bring you a lot of success, okay. Um, but I also feel like you guys are you're you're moving into a space where it's more it's more private. So I'm not sure what that's about here, but uh, the Four of Pentacles to me can be a card of isolation, privacy, solitude. So um, I feel like being alone with yourself and your thoughts, uh, realizing what it is that you actually want out of a situation and what you want long term. Um, you know, I feel like that's really going to be beneficial to you. There are cities here in the background. That's why I feel like this is isolation. Some of you could be moving from the city to the country or um, moving. From a roommate to you know being by yourself or something of that nature here there's something where i feel like you're going to have a lot more privacy is basically what i'm trying to say here so yeah i feel like you're kind of packing up and going here for a lot of you guys within the next six months uh for my aquarius moon people and i feel like it's going to make you very happy i just feel like there's a lot to get done but at the same time i feel like you are stalling in a sense because uh there's somebody here that you don't want to upset so um we have the sun card again <laughs> leo energy so what's going on with the sun card what is going on with the sun card? The two of wands. Planning. <laughs> uh, Mars and Aries. Okay. Planning. Let's get one more for that. The six of wands and the queen of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you guys... Um, there's going to be this period of solitude, but then there's going to be this um, period of time right after that uh, where I feel as if you guys are going to really be in the spotlight. You're going to be putting yourself out there again. This could be with dating, you know. Maybe you go off the scene a little bit for... Um you know, after a breakup or something with that tower card there, right? And then you get back out there. The Queen of Pentacles, I feel like this could be commitment coming in for some of you guys. For others of you, Queen of Pentacles is a very domestic queen. I feel like this has a lot to do with planning when it comes to um, that home here, okay? I feel like you could be meeting a lot of new people with the Six of Wands energy. I feel like you're getting recognized a lot. That's uh, basically how I'm feeling here. And this could be after a period of isolation. Uh, but that Two of Wands, I mostly feel is planning. Um, what else is going on here? Page of Cups. This could be a water sign that comes in for you guys because, like I said, I feel like there could be a commitment that comes in. And you have that Six of Wands. That can be a card of the wedding, okay? Some of you could be planning a wedding with someone you're already committed to. Could be a water sign, maybe a Leo. I feel like that's going to go really well. Um, so, yeah, that looks really good. You guys have a lot of good cards out here. You have the Empress, Taurus, and Libra Energy. I feel like there could be a water sign planning to communicate with you. Planning, planning to communicate something about the future with you, uh, something about and maybe you're committed to this person, maybe they want to live together or something of that nature here. The hair font, clarifying the empress, okay? So yeah, um, let's get a couple more out here for that. The queen of cups, cancerian energy, and the queen of wands, uh, Aries energy. I feel like somebody is working up some courage that they haven't had before uh, to express something to you emotionally. I feel like they're very in their head, or you're very in your head. I feel like there's not a whole lot of talking with this person or about this subject. So if there's talking, there's a lot of stepping around whatever this subject is. It could be commitment with the hair font, okay? Like I said, I feel like a higher level of commitment is coming in within the next six months for a lot of you guys. But the queen of wands, I feel like a lot of you, you're going to have to actually go after that. So it's something you want, but I feel like you've been very over-analytical of people, okay? Because you have that ten of wands. Like I said, I feel like you're getting caught up on small details here, um, and it's causing a lot of conflict when it comes to something that you want. Uh, I honestly feel like for some of you, you're, you're actually looking for uh, things 
to find wrong with people. <laughs> so there's something about that here with the Queen of Cups where I feel like you're really overanalyzing. You're really in your head. For others of you, like I said, I feel like somebody else has really been in their head and they're finally working up the courage to communicate that they want some kind of growth or commitment with you. Uh, they could just be expressing emotion in general about commitment that they wanted with you in the past. Uh, wondering where it is that you stand or where you guys stand. Um, but yeah, for others of you, like I said, I feel like um, there's somebody here who's working up the courage to ask for a higher level of commitment. Overall, that's the message that I'm getting with that. But yes, I do feel like you're being very over-analytical um, when it comes to connections. And I feel like you want a connection. I feel like you want love. But there's just a lot of, there's a nitpicky energy. And I feel like it could come from uh, something you still want. Something you're carrying with you and telling yourself you don't want anymore. So there could be something like that here. We have the Four of Swords, Jupiter and Libra. The Death card, Scorpionic Energy. Let's get one more out here for this. The King of Pentacles. Interesting having the King and Queen of Pentacles show up. Uh, so yeah, I feel like something here is going to have to end before you can have this commitment with this person. Um, it could be with a Scorpio or a Taurus, but the Four of Swords, I'm seeing as you being kind of asleep to something, okay? And then you have that Death card, which I feel is an awakening, a transformation of some sort, an ending, moving on to something new, and then you have that King of Pentacles energy. So I feel like this is a life partner, a long-term commitment, okay? Uh, but I feel like you are going to be building something of value here with a person within the next six months. Um, so I like that energy a lot. For others of you, I feel like this is something different. Give me the Four of Swords one more on this. The Five of Swords. Ooh, yeah. I feel like you guys are, I feel like you're putting an end to some kind of um, mental confliction here. There's something that's really been weighing on your mind, uh, causing a lot of conflict in the physical as well. Uh, so whatever this is that's been going on uh, in, your, in the headspace, I feel like it's been bleeding into the physical and causing a lot of problems or delays there. So I definitely see you guys moving back into a space of peace. Um, you know, when you move from the fives, the fives are like uh, chaos, conflict, change, and then you have the four of swords. Some of you guys, this is you finally having that move close out or whatever this was up here, this big transition that you were going through up here. I feel like you're having that close out. You're moving back to a place of structure, stability with that four. You move from the five of swords to the four of swords, so that's a good thing. Um, sometimes it's a good thing to move backwards because I feel like you guys are moving into this space of um, just kind of letting your mind use you instead of using your mind. So I feel like you're putting an end to that, and I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of stability or it's going to restore stability um, is what I should say. We have the Knight of Cups here, Pisces Energy. Let's look. What's going on with the Knight of Cups? For my Aquarius Moon people. Knight of Cups for my Aquarius Moon people. Seven of Pentacles. You've been waiting on some kind of dream here. Uh, to come to fruition, there it is, manifesting in the physical. And like I said, for a lot of you guys, there's something here where you're just really caught up on the past, okay, or the small details. Uh, but I feel like you're looking at the wrong side of things is basically how I feel here. You're looking at the wrong side in, in this card here. Um, he's looking at all those pinnacles that are piled up there. So this could be that you've invested a lot into something and you are determined to get a return on whatever that is. But that pinnacle is right there at your foot. You are getting a return on that, but just not in the way that you um, expected, not in the way that you pictured or wanted it to go. Um, but I feel like this is something coming in that's of long-term value uh, that is uh, stable. You know, this could be commitment for some of you guys, but uh, I feel like a new door is opening here and you're not really Really seeing it because you're focused on a door that has closed. So that's how that feels to me. Uh, but there is a pinnacle right at your foot there. You're just focused on something different, okay? Uh, the way that you wanted something to turn out. Uh, we have the high priestess here as well. Some of you, there's a job you didn't get, and you feel like that was your dream job or something of that nature here. I feel like there's a new path opening up, a new door opening up, uh, something you never really considered, okay? So just be open to the possibilities coming in here. We have the Five of Cups clarifying the High Priestess. We have the Page of Pentacles, and I'm going to do one more for that, the Eight of Pentacles, okay? Ten of Wands being your overall energy there. Um, once again, I feel like you guys are just uh, really focused on your very detail-oriented for whatever reason. Uh, now, in some ways, I think that's going to pay off. Like if this is in the workplace or something of that nature, for others of you, I feel like you don't want to disappoint a person here. So you're kind of working in silence. You're moving in silence, building in silence. Um, I feel like for some of you, you're really overthinking um, someone's reaction to something. It's kind of how that feels to me. Um, I don't feel like this is going to go as badly as you think it's going to go. I do think there's going to be some disappointment with what 
whatever it is that you're revealing to a person. Um, some of you, this could be revealing to a parent that you're moving somewhere um, far away or further away, I should say. Um, you know, that's just an example. That's not going to resonate with everybody. But yeah, I feel like you're really overthinking something here um, and not really focusing on the big picture. Some of you, this is you being too focused on one connection, getting too caught up on one person uh, and the way that things turned out and, you know, feeling like you've lost something that was meant for you. And that's not really possible, is it? So um, yeah, I feel like that's enlightenment with the page of pentacles. I feel like that's enlightenment. And I feel like there's like this acceptance of the unknown, of things that you're not certain about, of answers that you didn't get. I feel like you're finally accepting that, and I feel like it's bringing in a new beginning for you, okay? So I like that energy a lot uh, for you guys. So that's what I'm seeing here for you, Aquarius Moon people. Um, I hope this was helpful. I want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting me, and you all enjoy your next six months. Bye.